the EU deal after Brexit show, my name is Camille Magnisali and I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Aurélien Raka, expert in international and European law, to discuss the freedom of movement and services, of goods and services. How are you? I'm fine. Hello. Thank you for being here. Um, Dr. Aurélien Raka, what does the TCA provide regarding the free movement of goods and services? That is a completely new system and uh, uh, Actually, this is, um, it looks like a hard Brexit. So everything is, um, we have to re refix everything and there are new rules uh, for the exchange of goods and services. The impact was uh, in, in January this year was huge because actually there was a decrease of 27% of the export from the EU to the UK mm -hmm. and 66% of decrease uh, for the goods between the UK and the EU. So the first statement is that um, there is a strong change in the uh, trade uh, relations between the UK and the EU. When we read the, 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 um, uh, the TCA, so the Trade and Cooperation Agreement between the UK and the EU, um, the principle is that there is no customs uh, tariff and no quantitative restrictions, so no quotas. Okay. So which means that we should proceed in the same way of being free to exchange goods and services. But in the practice, there are plenty of new administrative forms, procedures, processes to fill uh, for the companies. And it may explain why there was a, a, a huge decrease uh, this year. Uh, because maybe the companies, they're a bit scared mm. of those new forms and they have to adapt uh, their process inside. Yeah, it's um, completely new, so... Everything, yeah, yeah, everything is new. And uh, do you think that the UK is losing uh, its right uh, regarding the free movement of goods and services? That is very strange with the UK um, on many points, of course, but uh, this one is a good example because... Uh, the UK has influenced mm -hmm. in the 20, 30 past years a lot the EU uh, to open the market inside. Uh, what I have in mind is the, the very famous case law uh, called Centros of the Court of Justice of the European uh, Union, um, pressing the, 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 the states of the EU to accept uh, the establishment, the free establishment of companies uh, from other current EU member states to uh, settle freely in, in, in the um, uh, host, uh, host state. And uh, uh, now that they have opened very much the market, pressing the EU to, to be more uh, opened, uh, they're going out and now they are coming back in the country to a new process. Mm. And uh, uh, so as I told you before, uh, the, the, the goods are not moving freely, so there are new processes to, to, to export and import. And uh, um, the, 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 the companies which want to settle in the UK, uh, they are considered as uh, third country uh, companies and so, yeah, as foreigners. So um, even if in the treaty, it is written that there should not be any discrimination and that uh, the British law shall consider um, in the same way the foreign companies. In the practice, they have to fulfill um, uh, the conditions as, as for any foreigner. Yeah, for non-discrimination. Mm. Uh, I have a question. What shall do the companies which want to make businesses between the EU and the UK? So uh, they have to reconsider uh, the process. So it depends what... Uh, what they uh, want to do. If they want uh, to, to export and import uh, goods, they have uh, to, re to, to apply the new forms on the British website um, that is providing uh, on, the, on, on the, the website of the British government. There are all the forms for import and export. And they have developed a new concept of intelligent frontier. And this concept of the intelligent frontier uh, is providing different steps and there are uh, from four to six steps to fulfill uh, from anticipating the customs and 
and sanitary measures, uh, the safety measures, and, and all the controls that are done on goods before uh, crossing the channel or any other border. And uh, um, if the British companies, on the other side, if the British companies want to do business in the EU, they have to register and to have in the EU and to have an EU identification number that is called EORI, so e Economic Operator Registration and Identification. So this is a new number that uh, the British companies will have to, um, to fulfill, so to, to get, and uh, uh, then they, they, they will be able to, to do business in, in the EU. And uh, fishery has been a key topic uh, during the Brexit negotiation. What has been uh, decided? Fishery was a sensitive political issue because um, uh, the, the many European fishermen are fishing in the British Sea. Uh, that is uh, one of the most productive one yeah. in, in, uh, uh, of the continent. So um, applying a hard Brexit to fishery uh, would endanger uh, the fishermen a lot, the European fishermen. So the European Union has pressed a lot uh, to have a progressive implementation of, the, of Brexit to fishery. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a transition between 2021 and 2026, um, progressive decrease of the uh, quotas uh, that the, 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 the European fishermen can fish into the British Sea. So there, is this, there are 25% less quotas for the EU fishermen in the in British Sea. And from 2026, they should completely go out from the British Sea. In exchange, the Europeans uh, can apply uh, after this uh, new custom duties to uh, the, the fish, uh, so uh, Im imported from, uh, from the UK. So um, yeah. This is also something new, uh, impacting maybe uh, the market, the fishery market. And uh, the, the fishermen, they have to find new places uh, to, 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 to fish and to ensure that we can still uh, have a stable market and still produce on, on, on the continent. Yeah. yeah, and we are still waiting for the entire approval of DTCA. Still waiting. So, <laughs> thank you for bringing us thank your you. expertise. It was the EU deal after Brexit show. Do not hesitate to find other episodes on our channel. Thank you for following us. <laughs>